Azure Sentinel ultimately relies on log analytics to store its data. So here, the prerequisite is to have this environment configured. And I'm just going to check that I have a bunch of machines reporting to my environment. Here, that's the case. So I can jump to the Azure Sentinel interface. I'm having here my repository, so I can click on it. And here I can see the general usage of data in my environment. First thing first, you need to configure the data providers. So you have to feed it with some source of information. You see that can be Azure information, can be AWS information, can be any marketplace network virtual appliance that you uh, want to use. Here you can see the logs from Office 365 using SharePoint and Exchange uh, logs. You can configure the F5, you can configure Checkpoint, Cisco, you can configure the control plane activity that you have on Azure. So here you have an example of the flow of activities that I have in my subscription and you can see in the next step that I have a sample query that I can run on it to check that it's working correctly. Now you can see also metadata around the security center and security vulnerabilities that have been identified in my deployment. You can also store information from the DNS servers that are present on your information and get some intelligence that you having uh, usage of name resolution. In terms of security events, you can also, of course, collect anything that is happening on a Windows machine. So we're going to collect by default all the machines uh, that are deployed in your subscription and configure it for it. But you can also configure things outside of Azure. And of course, you can configure as well Linux machines to send their data to Sentinel. So for that, you will be able to configure a syslog provider and you will also be able to uh, deploy that and collect the information and then send the information to Log Analytics that then will make sense of it inside Azure Sentinel. So here you see the example of the syslog data that are put by default. And you can, of course, enrich it and add additional relevant logs if you want them to be analyzed. Next step is to be able to see this data. So out of the box, when you created those information uh, sources in your environment, you are able to see them already at work with the dashboard. So here you are able to check at the Azure environment activities. So you see what is happening into this subscription, who is doing what, the types of operation, and the details of the operations that have been done inside this subscription. So you can have very deep insight of what is happening inside this environment. You can also go deeper and get some information around the utilization of the FortiGate, for instance, if you're having this solution deploy in your environment, well, you have all kinds of metrics and security information that you can see directly out of the dashboard inside your uh, Azure Sentinel environment. So that's one of the solutions. You can also get deeper into identity and access. Remember, we configure the security event log. Now is the time to see what's happening in the environment. You can see the different machines, the types of logon, the credentials that have been uh, used, the account that has been used and has been successfully used or it has been failed. And you can see the details of the machines and the activities that have been detected. So that's very uh, uh, basic reports that you can see out of the box. Those dashboards are going to be uh, replaced by the workbooks. And actually, you can see that those workbooks are much more colorful and that are getting insight onto here, for instance, what's happening inside your Palo Alto uh, network virtual appliance. You can see the type of uh, malicious traffic that has been seen by this appliance. You can see the type of traffic that has been blocked by those appliances as well. So that's a very uh, uh, example of the workbooks that are present by default without uh, any additional configuration from you. That applies, of course, to the Office 365 activities as well. So if you connected your Office 365 um, tenant space, then you're able to see all the activities that are related to your environment. And you can see with great details uh, what are the files that are being used, the users that are being uh, using those files in your environment, and you can see very precisely what's happening on your SharePoint and what's happening on your uh, OneDrive environment with the type of files, the type of access, and the type of uh, user activity classification of the data. Well, anything you need to know to be in control of your environment. 
So that's pretty much what you have by default as a reporting solution. And you see that you have also here on the general uh, dashboard, the sense of the data source anomaly. So if you see a spike in data, well, that's where the machine learning are going to look very in detail of what's happening in the environment. You can also look at the row logs and here you have the KQL uh, query that you can call to the rescue to get some insight on the data. So you can see, for instance, that I have a save query to look at the amount of data week over week and if there's any progress. So you can copy uh, that from the query uh, library, run it, and then you can choose the right format that you want for this dashboard and the nicest representation that you want. And then you can pin it to your uh, Azure dashboard, for instance. That's it. How to get started with Sentinel.